Hey guys, how you doing? Rudy here. So today I'm going to talk to you about uh, basically the most efficient way to exercise to burn fat. So you'll hear this all the time that people have this magical workout or routine to burn fat and this video isn't going to be anything like that. It's just going to teach you some key principles that are scientifically backed uh, and they've studied to basically teach you how I use my training protocols in all my transformation plans and with personal clients to basically lose weight as fast as possible while protecting muscle mass uh, and in some cases depending on your goal even increase muscle mass and strength. So I term this technique metabolic resistance training, I mean it's not an individual term and lots of people use that word interchangeably but very few people will use the techniques that I'm going to teach you today. So for most people metabolic resistance training will kind of be like circuits or crossfit or boot camps where they're doing body weight and you know squats and deadlifts and they'll do it in a circuit fashion uh, and this is great and i use this as well so more like uh, giant sets and circuit training and full body routines they can be great but what this is a bit more specific to bodybuilding so it's perfect for people that are more physique uh, orientated rather than just general fitness that don't care about muscle mass and they just want to lose fat. What this is, this is a bit more for a bodybuilder or a bikini model or someone that wants that kind of toned and firm look, but they also want to be lean. Uh, and this is kind of superior because it's going to help you increase muscle mass and strength while burning a ton of fat basically in calories compared to a normal gym session. So when I say normal gym session, I just mean say a, a 15 set a leg workout where you do uh, 10 reps, you rest one minute, maybe two minutes, and you just work through a few exercises. So don't get me wrong, I love that, and that's still a big part of my programming, but specifically for fat loss, I feel there's a better way, okay? And it doesn't have to be like this all the time, you use different strategies. So you might do typical resistance training some days, or for some blocks, but then you'll use this strategy for kind of the bulk of your transformation or your weight loss journey. And what it involves is it involves taking a typical routine and basically doubling it. But you don't have to spend double the time in the gym, which is important. So working with a lot of athletes and clients, uh, obviously we want to minimize our time in the gym and get the most results as we can. Okay, obviously some people, you know, they can be unemployed and spend all day in the gym, that's fine, but that doesn't apply probably to yourself or most people watching this. So what this does is still maybe in an hour, maybe up to 90 minutes, but normally an hour's period, you can get double the work in. Uh, and that's gonna basically double your calorie expenditure, double your fat loss, and also uh, have a kind of more beneficial effect on your key hormones. So for fat loss, one of the key hormones is growth hormone. So growth hormone helps metabolize stored energy and new energy, what we take in through food, uh, for fuel, okay, so if growth hormone is higher, it's going to help you burn more fat and metabolize more fatty acids stored in the fat cells or taken in from food. In addition, there's a similar hormone called ephedrine or adrenaline. When that increases, it has a similar role, it increases the amount of calories you burn and it increases fat mobilization out of the fat cell, so the fatty acid comes out of the fat cell into the bloodstream and you can oxidize it or in other words burn it for fuel. So we're going to burn more calories, which as I say in every video and article is still a very important and key factor in weight loss. But along with burning more total calories, we're likely going to burn more fat and have increased hormones. So this is a win-win for fat loss. In addition to what happens in the training session, we're going to get kind of an afterburn effect. So if you've ever uh, read an article of mine on HIIT training or interval training or read about it elsewhere, you'll know that the afterburn is basically a rise in metabolism caused by the session. So what happens is your body's kind of really pushing to such extremes that it heightens your metabolism for up to 48 hours. So, you know, you go to the gym, you go home, you sleep, the next day you're actually burning more calories throughout that period because you've improved your metabolism and kind of kick-started your body. Uh, in addition to this, there's also uh, beneficial kind of more long-term aspects such as improved insulin sensitivity. So insulin and insulin sensitivity are two kind of key markers in health and disease. 
So if you're more insulin sensitive, all that means is you'll basically eat food and when it goes into the bloodstream, it will get pushed into the muscle more efficiently. So you'll be able to drive in all the food you eat into the muscle for either storage of carbohydrates as glycogen, ready for your exercise session, or for recovery. So obviously nutrients and blood drive amino acids and proteins into the muscle for recovery and growth. Improved insulin sensitivity will occur when you do this type of metabolic resistance training. So it'll occur when you do normal resistance training, but it'll occur to an even heightened extent when you perform this type of training. And this type of training, don't get me wrong, it's kind of tough mentally and physically, but a lot of people enjoy it because it's kind of more varied and it keeps you going and when you finish that hour, you feel like you've really worked hard. So a lot of people go into the gym, they'll lift weights and then sit down for one or two minutes, they'll text, they'll chat to their training partner, they'll look around the gym, walk around. Uh, and you know, in an hour's session, they might only be lifting, I don't know, say 30 seconds a set, and say they do 20 sets, that's only 10 minutes of exercise in a 60 minute window. Whereas with this, you're gonna be constantly going. So you'll get some rest, but instead of say 10 minutes, you're probably gonna be exercising for 40 minutes. So you can see, we go 10 minutes to 40 minutes, that's up to 400% more activity and calories burn. Along with kind of the benefits on fat loss, I spoke briefly about it helping you retain muscle uh, and strength and it, it, and it can do this because firstly you can uh, increase the amount of muscles you work with in a session. So say normally you just train chest, you could use this method and train chest and back or chest and legs or chest and triceps or biceps within the same amount of time. So you'll burn more calories, you'll use more glycogen which will help with insulin sensitivity and uh, reducing fat storage after the session, but you'll also get more frequency and total volume within the session. So frequency just means how many times you train a muscle uh, per week, for example. Uh, and I've got a great article on my website about the importance of training frequency and why a high training frequency is really important for both fat loss and muscle growth. But along with basically training a muscle more often, we're gonna get more total volume. And volume just means how many sets or how many reps or weight times sets times reps we get within a session. So simply you can imagine it as say you do 10 sets normally with metabolic resistance training, like I said, we might manage 30 or 40 sets. So we've got 300 to 400% more volume or at least even if you're doing more of a basic metabolic resistance session, you've got double, so 200% more volume. And volume has been shown to be a key driver in muscle growth. So to an extent, there's a kind of linear relationship. So as volume increases up, muscle growth increases. Obviously, there's a plateau to this where more volume is not beneficial. But for most of you, if you get more volume per week, you're going to grow more muscle. And importantly, other studies on physique athletes and weight loss have highlighted the importance of training frequency and volume in protecting your muscle. So basically your body, as I say all the time, is a survival machine. So say you train chest on a Monday and you don't train it again until the next Monday, there's a big period there where your body's seeing all this excess muscle on the chest or on the legs and because it's not being used, it doesn't feel it needs it. And because you're dieting, your body's trying to burn energy and it will take some of the you know, proteins that make up the muscle fiber and burn them for fuel. Whereas if we train with a high frequency and volume, our muscle will be kind of under jeopardy or it'll be damaged or it'll be exercised. And that will signal the body that, oh, we don't want to burn this muscle. We need it. It's getting worked often. So it's kind of like a, you know, if you're not going to use it, you're going to lose it. And so metabolic resistance training is going to allow you, without spending more hours in the gym, it's going to allow you to train the muscle more. So it's going to help you gain mass and protect mass while dieting. So you can see there's lots of benefits from this. Uh, and to, to perform it, there's lots of ways to do it. But basically it'll involve more of like a superset and giant set method. So you're gonna, rather than just doing say exercise one, say it was squats, rather than just doing say squats and then sitting down for two minutes or texting, you're gonna do your set of squats and then you might go straight into lying tricep extensions and work your triceps. Uh, and there's lots of ways to do this and different like kind of uh, sequences and pairs that I've made up over the years 
So you compare uh, chest and back, for example. You compare back and triceps. So rather than doing them separately, you would do them back to back. And what this is going to do is, even though you're pairing two muscles and you might think your performance will suck, as long as your fitness is relatively good and after a few weeks just to adapt, you're actually not going to see much of a decrease, if any, in performance. Because what, you're, what you've got to remember is whole body fatigue may increase because it's going to be more strenuous on your CNS and your aerobic system, which is good, you know, linked to lots of health benefits. But your, your actual muscle is going to get more rest probably, or at least equal the amount of rest as it would. Because if you think about it, logically we do 60 seconds of a set on chest, and then we do 60 seconds of a set on biceps, and then we take a 30 second rest. You're going to come back to chest and you've had 90 seconds rest. So your chest has been able to recover, it's been able to pump out the hydrogen ions and all the meta, meta, uh, basically the metabolic processes that go in when we're training and cause that burn and fatigue. It's going to help get rid of them and it's going to help recovery because even though you're taking maybe longer rest for the muscle group, you're not going to take more rest total. So you're still going to burn a lot more calories and do a lot more work, but each muscle is still going to get a sufficient amount of rest because when you're working your legs, your chest is resting. When you're working your biceps, your triceps are resting. So just remember that, that don't look at the whole body alone. Obviously, it's an important factor, but Within that muscle, that's an important factor as well. So if you want more information on this, you can head over to the website. Um, I've got a whole blog post on metabolic resistance training. Uh, if you want to get these programs, then you can either join the 90 day transformation plan or you can join the 20 week scientific maths plan. Uh, and basically I use these principles throughout. So you'll be able to get uh, over 15 to 20 done for you different workouts and different periodized plans that utilize these techniques, um, especially in the 90 day bikini challenge to help people burn at least double the fat, lose weight more efficiently and spend less time or equal time in the gym. For 20 week mass, they play an important role because of the latter part of the video. So they're going to get more frequency and more volume. So it's going to help them gain weight or muscle faster, but also keeping the fat down to a minimum because they're going to be metabolizing fat and uh, kind of optimizing their hormones. So check that out. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.